Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van Onna Company. It's Monday, October 21st. I'm going to go over the markets with you. It's very quiet news-wise, and when we have very quiet days news-wise, it seems the path of least resistance is to the downside, and that is what we saw today. Corn market down three quarters, or three and three quarters cent. Uh, soybeans down three quarters cent, and then wheat complex anywhere from six and three quarters to eight and three quarters cent lower, as they have been on the most run. Not so much Minneapolis wheat, but Chicago wheat has really been on a run here, and so it's not surprising you see that profit taking. Uh, you did have. President Trump come out and say that you that China is already buying U.S. ag product. Um, it seemed like the market kind of shook it off, didn't pay attention to it as they want to see these confirmed sales before they really get this market going too much. And it didn't help that export inspections were okay. Um, they were within it, within what we were thinking, but they were nothing special. And corn is really lagging behind where we should be. We should be shipping a million metric ton of corn a week, and we've averaged about 428,000 a week. So we're way be behind where we should be right now, and that is a limiting factor to the corn market. Um, going along with President Trump's thoughts, you do have China rumors out there that China's granting additional waivers to private companies to buy U.S. means, so that's a positive thing. Hopefully we'll see some more sales to come, but without any hard data and no more news and limited harvest activity for yield reports, this market kind of fell off a little bit, and you really were quiet throughout it. Meat markets were quiet as well, with live cattle, feeder cattle, and lean hogs all trading both sides but not that far off of steady and then outside markets were actually very quiet as well so we're just stuck in a little bit of a rut here until we get a little bit more information. You did have hogs start to separate themselves between these hogs being lower, deferred contracts being higher, with anticipation that you're going to see China being buying those deferred hogs quite actively moving forward if they are going to buy 40 to $50 billion worth of U.S. ag goods. So um, you're seeing that separation start to actually occur, and we'll see where crop conditions and harvest progress comes this afternoon to give this market a fresh set of data. I do have to close with the disclaimer. Trading futures and option involves risk loss and is not suitable for all producers. This is a solicitation. Have a great day.